everybody, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, in the uh, downtime here, I have queued up a few quality of life things here. Uh, I'm gonna get some of this, uh, basically put more abyssalite uh, insulated tile in, clear this out, basically finish up our steam geyser room. We really should have done this a while ago, but it was closed off enough that it didn't matter so much, but we're going to get it closed off now. Hopefully the extra layer will also help prevent heat, more heat from getting into our base because, man, our base is hot. Anyway, uh, so we are got that. I've uh, queued up some stuff to dig out this area here just to get rid of some of that. Uh, I'm also going to seal off there and there. Uh, because what I am planning on doing is, after all that's done, I'm going to put in some airflow tiles and fully incorporate this area into the base proper. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Let's unpause. Let people do their thing. I am going to have to keep an eye on my kilocalories because I am currently not producing any, but I also didn't want to overfill the fridge or anything. Popped eardrums. Hmm, okay. I guess there's a change in air pressure. Shouldn't be... Well, yeah, I guess there is a change in air pressure. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to let these guys do their thing. They're all just kind of doing their own things. You know, they are working a bit on some of this stuff. Getting these tiles in, making this properly into part of the base, rather than just a thoroughfare. Which, I mean, it'll still be a thoroughfare, but it'll actually be a properly tiled up one now. Oh, I was also going to put in a little bit more art. Um, is it furniture? Yes. Alright, so we're going to put one there, and one there. And we're going to put in flower pot there. And we will determine what we put in that flower pot later. I'm not going to necessarily fill it right now. Alright, you guys are in there doing that. You've gotten all of those lad ladders built, which I needed for the access. That's good. Getting that abyssalite built. Yes, I know it is hot. Oh, by the by, since uh, I didn't pay close enough attention to it before... We got a cool vest and a warm sweater over here. And it sounds like we have another duplicate available. Yes, we do. I'm not going to worry about that right now because that would require getting more beds. I'm not set up for that at the moment. We'll worry about that later. Good, you're digging all that out. A little bit of gold amalgam there too, that's good. Yes, soggy feet, I know. I know it's hot. Oh, looks like uh, there was a little bit of sand, too. Dig that, too. Are you not able to get to that one? Unreachable build. Oh, well. We'll just have to leave that like that. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright. Do your thing. There you go. Excellent. So I should sweep all this stuff up. Let's fact, let's go ahead and get that set as a higher priority deal. Just because I don't necessarily want stuff in there, and the only way to do this is uh, get it out now before this door closes. Because you never know when this guy's just going to, like, full-blown erupt. <clears throat> and now that there is a completely clear path for the water... It should hopefully flow out a little bit easier. Go ahead and get all those things. Excellent, excellent. Just get a little bit more stuff. Now, I'm surprised we haven't found a second water geyser around. I know that we are guaranteed one, but I thought that we would have found another one in our explorations. 
Maybe there's something over here. Hmm. It sounded like something over there, but it could have been a different type of geyser, too, so. Alright, is that all the things? That looks like all the things. Excellent, now you don't, guys don't need to go in there anymore. No, I mean, you need to go down here, but not up there. Alright, let's take a quick look here. How is our temperature doing? It is still ridiculously hot. Oh, look, a second plant is starting to grow again. Good, that means the cool is spreading. All right, how are we doing over here? Oh, this is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those airflow tiles in. So I'm going to go ahead and put one there. I'm going to put two there. Let's go ahead and get one here. Maybe one there. I don't want to put any in that. But we can put a couple directly above those. Well, not directly above that one. So I guess we'll go above that, and maybe there. What was I building that out of? Gold Amalgam. That's good. I mean, it's hot, so... I was gonna say, as long as it's not Wolframite. Bloody hell. Um, let's put in a couple additional ones over here, I suppose. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And we will... Then put in one there, one there. That'll do. We don't. We want that to be able to catch any odors coming out of that before it gets into the rest of the base. Uh, you can be deconstructed, and we can put in another airflow tile. Good. Now we have a proper floor to get to our med bay. I should really move this down here, I think. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Something to think of at another time. Oh, hey, look. More sand that fell. Okay. So we've gotten all that set up. Um, I should probably put a couple of airflow tiles there, too. Eh, we'll let that sort itself out for a bit. I don't really necessarily need the that to be properly incorporated, but it kind of is by default since I don't have any barriers. I should really sweep all this stuff, too. How is my space doing? I still got, like, three empty compactors. Let's go ahead and sweep all this stuff, because I'm sick of that hatch just kind of... Wait a minute. Priority 7 sweep. Go sweep all that stuff. <laughs> whole bunch of coal that we're probably not going to ever use for anything. Oh, right, we had these little guys, too, that are set for sweep only. <laughs> All right, so that area is now properly incorporated into the base. Let's see how the airflow is doing. It is improving. Excellent. So this does mean that uh, you're basically the high-pressure area is going to force into the lower-pressure area. Which is good, because we need that. People are showering. Uh, our immunity was starting to dip back down, which is why I was like, you know what? Let's get this area here incorporated in. Alright, let's take a... Looks like we are getting more water now. That's good. Maybe. Emitting water. At 36 kilograms per second. Alright, so hopefully that means in no time this will uh, get all filled up again. Alright, we were going to go back down and see how we are doing down here. Alright. Our ladder is being constructed ever so slowly. So I have a plan. A cunning plan. Well, not so cunning, but it's a plan nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an area to store oil, and I will probably set up the area to process the oil, but I need to figure out a good place for it, because it is going to be emitting uh, the natural gas, so I need to close it off like this, but a duplicate has to run the station that's doing it, so I'm going to need to do a, like, more better than this airlock, which is going to prove interesting. 
So I kind of want it to be close to these things so I can maybe add another layer and, uh, you know, just use the natural gas that's coming out of it to power that. I'm thinking that's what I might end up doing. In fact, let's go ahead and set that up. Although, we've got that as a problem. Um, hmm. Oh, actually, and you know what? These dudes here can be deconstructed now. I don't need those to run anymore. Um, yeah, because that is there, this might be a little bit of a problem. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move that up a tile. So we're going to say liquid vent, gold amalgam is good. We're going to put you there. You should drip down into that still. We will get some insulated liquid pipe. I'm going to go ahead and say granite. Up to there. And then once that's built, I'll deconstruct this one. Okay, you're disinfecting. Great, great. Oh, food shortage! I was saying I needed to keep an eye on that. Back to the mush bar. And this is a higher priority, right? Yeah, okay, it's eight. Good. Alright, let's get that food sorted. Alright, you guys are constructing that. Go ahead and deconstruct that one. Probably the liquid pipe, too. Yep, let's go ahead and deconstruct the liquid pipe. And let us get some mesh tiles in. Uh, ooh, what's that? Oh, iron! I have some iron now. I mean, I still want this to be gold amalgam, but... I have access to iron now. That is good to know. We'll go ahead and dig you guys out a bit. Alright. So, we'll let that run a bit. Let's make sure that our food is getting done in a timely fashion. Alright, it's getting put away. That means nobody was hungry yet, so I did catch this at a good time. I ran out of kilocalories, but nobody was super hungry. Because, <clears throat> I mean, even now, nobody's gone to get food. So, that's good. That should hopefully mean that I'll have plenty of time to catch up. Boop. Good, good, good. Okay. Water is still outputting at a, you know, relatively slow rate. Um, how are you guys? Oh, man, you guys, you heated back up again. What is your body temperature now? Slightly too high. Why is this happening? Is this seriously just because of the temperature of the water? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I have it as insulated pipes. I should probably insulated pipe the rest of that, too. At least this stretch. Uh, plumbing. Whoa, scalding. Stinky. Stinky, where are you? Oh, you're way... Okay, yeah, it's way too hot down there, huh? Alright, well... I mean, nothing I can do about that at the moment. Uh, insulated pipe. boop a doop a doo Yeah, you're fine. There we go. Just kind of replace those pipes with insulated ones. Oh, oh, looks like you're actually doing something. Oh, and it's nighttime. They didn't get all those pipes replaced. They got one of those pipes replaced, it looks like. <laughs> okay. So we needed to get the area built. Um, they are not quite done with that. But what I think 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. I'm going to go ahead and go... Right along like this. Yeah, I have a bit of a plan. Let's do that. And we will... Do that. Yeah. We're going to let this go for a minute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dig out that much tile. Our immune systems are back up to 100%. That's good. That was... Uh, part of my plan with getting this ready. Uh, we're still showing a food shortage, but it has been going up, so that's fine. <sighs> I really wish this would... Just... Bloody... No, it's going up. Stop going up. Maybe I need to close this off. I didn't want to have to do that, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright. Alright, Abyssalite. We're going to go right here. Do those two tiles. And then we're going to get a mechanized airlock. Um, I do not want one that is thermally reactive. I don't have enough iron ore. I could do copper. Let's do copper. Because thermally reactive means that it'll change temperature quickly. Now, I don't have it. There aren't any metals that, you know, do it, like, super slow. But the uh, we can at least get one that doesn't do it quick. Alright, now hopefully that will allow the temperatures to go down quicker. Hopefully. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and take a look down here. Building lacks resources. The algae terrarium. So am I out of algae? Um, what is that, organic? No, I have plenty of algae. I guess they just haven't been delivered to? Wherever they are? That's one. Insufficient resources of water. Oh, okay, looks like everything's been taken care of now. Okay. A little bit of crude oil. I've got one more ladder to build down here. Oh, look at this. Magma. Look at the temperatures down here. Wow. Okay. Alright. It is nighttime again. We are going to pop back up here, see how we're doing here. Since we're just about done down there with the, what we had queued. All right, this is about set. Food shortage. Oh, well, that's just a technicality. All right, um, let's see. We want some mesh tile to run along the top of that. Let's go ahead and sweep that. Alright, how are you doing? Bidding steam, alright. Yikes. Alright. Let's see how we're doing over here. Food shortage, yes, I know. Alright, somebody go get that fungal spore. I guess there's was also something else there. Bissolite. And fungal spores. Okay, good. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to build... Um, not that. Plumbing. Liquid pump. Gold amalgam is good. Right there. We are going to need power to go to it. 
So let's bring some power up into the tile. We are going to need liquid pipe as well up into the tile. We're just going to do that for the moment since I don't know exactly where I'm going to be putting these things. Let's dig that out of the way too. Just so that I can close this off and be able to access. Alright. In fact, now that there is that much done... Oh, wait. In fact, we gotta wait for the pipes. Alright, good pipes done. Let's go ahead and put in our regular tile here. And, in fact, because we don't want any leaks, regular tile there, too. In fact, we're uh, gonna go ahead and say... Go ahead and dig out under that, just so we have easy access. Don't accidentally want to, you know, breach this. I don't think it would, but better safe than sorry. All right, let's get a pitcher pump. Now let's wait for that to finish, and then I'll get the picture prop. Everybody's sleeping. Good, good. <coughs> now you're getting a lot of steam. All right. Steam geyser is doing a whole bunch of nothing. This is mildly annoying. the temperature just not going to drop, or what? <sighs> Give it some time. Give it some time. Maybe the Weezworts aren't as good as they once were. I mean, that's entirely a possible thing that they might have done. Um, let's go ahead and cancel those two. We don't need you to do that, if you've already gotten that tile. In fact, could somebody get that tile, please? There we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's go plumbing. Pitcher pump. We're going to make it out of obsidian, just so it doesn't overheat again. Except pitcher pump was not the thing we wanted. Uh, we want bottle emptier, and we will make that out of obsidian so that it doesn't accidentally do its thing. Alright. Food shortage. What is the issue with the food shortage? Do I, am I short on, uh... Let's see, cultivatable soil. No, I've still got 12 tons of dirt. You're, oh, it's running into water problems. Right. Let's, uh, I suppose, yeah. Alright. Secondary water source. It might help if I'm on plumbing instead. Um, you can be sandstone. I'm gonna put you right there. Good, good. Okay, um, how did this water get here? That's, that's not right. That shouldn't be there. wonder where that came from. Huh. Okay. Alright, so we've got our pump now. Good, good, good. In fact, what we're going to do here... Um, is there another... Oh, I can't prioritize the pumps. Darn. I would have wanted to prioritize this one higher. Oh well. This will also end up draining this out for us. Which is good. Um, at least... The, it'll drain out, hopefully, to the point where we can just mop the rest. And that'll uh, open up this area for our use. Uh, exactly what we're going to do there, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll figure something out. Hmm, I suppose I should really... I think I'm going to move some of this stuff at some point. Alright, so we were working over here. 
we've got this. Alright, you only Alright, we're not gonna set you to anything just yet, because I think I have to bottle up some first. Alright, in fact let us go down here all the way down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set you to just dig out that bit there. Food shortage. Yes, I am aware, but we actually have water flowing now, so it should be fine. I am going to need to start making, like, actual dirt soon, but we don't need that just yet. You actually have some snow in you. Nice. Does it say what it is actually storing? Ah, contents, ice. Alright, it has ice in it. Excellent. And that ice is warming up. It is all should also be cooling the area. But, you know, I think that's not competing with the <laughs> steam geyser. Alright. Speaking of, let's go ahead and take a look around here. They should have clean cleaned some of this. Oh, what do we got here? Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. What the heck are you? A self-sustaining machine powered by what appears to be refined neutronium. Absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when submersed in hydrogen. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but interesting. Uh, looks like there's still more over here. Good. There's actually a thing there that could be more, uh, chip of thingies. Uh, Weezworts. Let's go ahead and do that. I guess we'll just do that for a moment, and we'll see how that goes. All right. That's just kind of queued up. You know what? Oh, jeez, look at this mess. All right, let's mop this up. Oh, look at this. The water's flowing all the way down here, which means it's getting on the door, which means it's going to be getting down here. Which is probably how that other water got in there, too. Let's go ahead and mop that up. Maybe I should have set that higher priority. Oh, well. Okay, let's see how things are going. Oh, right, I wanted to check on the dig I had queued down here. Good, good. All right, let's tell you to mop up this oil. I want to see if that gives us the option of uh, putting it in the bot in the uh, not the bottler the uh, the opposite of that the de bottler what's it called bottle emptier all right because if it does then that gives us a way to manually transport oil until we find a uh, you know a infinite source a uh, oil reservoir. And that'll let us get access to some of the plastics and stuff before you worry about that. Didn't I tell you to mop this stuff? Of course, you probably did if more fell down, is what I'm guessing. Uh, let's go ahead and tell you to mop that, too. And that little spot. Okay. Got the puffed there, just kind of... Have an at. Nobody's gotten to that yet. Has this stuff been mopped? That stuff's been mopped. How about down here? Alright. Nope, nobody's gotten to that yet, so we don't know if that works yet. But we will probably find out next episode, because I think we're done at the end of this cycle. <clears throat> oh, somebody's gotten diarrhea, I saw. Great. How is our air flow going? Excellent. Uh, we haven't quite filled out down here yet, but that's to be expected. It's a little bit tricky for it to get down there at the moment. Excellent, excellent. 
uh, a little sniffly today. Alright, so we're just going to burn through the rest of the cycle here. So our major accomplishment this time... Well, really was expanding the breathable area in our base. You know, basically expanding that. We also set this little guy up here, which is going to be a little, like, stopgap oil system, assuming it works right. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to have the time to test it simply because of that other mopping we had to do. I could probably prioritize this. Let's go ahead and prioritize you. I would like to see. And we should have enough time left in the cycle that they're going to get down here and do it. All right, you mopped that one. All right, so that should give us access to a little bit of crude oil. Let's see if you now accept it. Liquid. Crude oil. Excellent. Awesome. So that's going to work. Good to know we have gotten our uh, stopgap oil collection system going. We will have to uh, <clears throat> figure out exactly what we're going to do for processing next time. Let's take a quick look. Um, where is it? Refinement, probably. Oil refinery. So let's take a quick look here. You need filtered output pipe. You need oil in from a pump, oil out from a thing. All right, let's pause up there. All right. So we have gotten our stopgap uh, oil storage area set up, uh, a way of harvesting it, because uh, I'll probably end up putting one of these pumps I made of obsidian out in an area that has bore. And set that so that it can actually accept the, uh, you know, oil directly from it. Um, how is our temperatures? It is not looking good. We're going to have to figure something out about this. Because this, the, despite this all being insulated pipe, it does not seem to be keeping the heat out. I might let it go a little bit longer, but when your only source of infinite water is ridiculously hot... And these aren't doing too awful much to counteract it. Uh, we'll have to figure something out about that in the future. Especially since I would really like to put up a sleet weed farm. But that's not happening if all of our water is hot, because that requires the water. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one.